Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to talk about the 46 degree ice halo over New Mexico, the once in a lifetime rarest type of ice halo, and three inches of hail dropping in a matter of a half hour in Pachuca City at 20 degrees north latitude. And snow flurries return to Florida, the great white rain from the Seminole Native American Indians is back. The rarest ice halos on our planet that are considered a once-in-a-lifetime viewing have been seen in New Mexico. This is the type of a 46-degree radius halo. It's the rarest type. For an example, the ice halo spotted over Alabama in 2012 that everybody was raving about in the news was considered a 22-degree ice halo. These types of halos are 6 times brighter than the 46 degrees. So I will ask you this question. If this image is six times fainter than a 22 degree halo, what was the intensity of the ice crystal formation in our skies to give this type of vividness to something six times fainter than the regular 22 degree halos that are most commonly seen? Infrequent halos, if you want to do some of your own research, I've put some links below. There's some software you can create your own halos and tinker with the sky a bit to see what types of shapes and contours you can get out yourself. If you like kaleidoscopes, this is your thing. Another look at the different types of halo formations at 46 and 22 degrees. Jumping over into Florida, this is 30 degrees north latitude. Flurries set a record in Florida for traces. There's only been three accumulations of snowfall in the last 103 years in Florida, although these were just flurries. To give you an idea where Jacksonville is, it's 30 degrees north off the equator. The types of flurries coming down, as you can see, it's that heavy, thick, wet snow that we're experiencing northern hemisphere wide. The Seminole Native American Indians term this the Great White Rain. It was common in the 1700s and the 1600s during the Maunder Minimum. The name for snow in the Seminole language is Istas. And the Seminole legends talk about purification of the earth through ice and snow. That's really interesting in the legends they have, and now the snows are coming back. Jumping down to Mexico, this is even further south toward the equator. This is only 20 degrees north off the equator. Look at these pictures in Pachuca City. This is just a little bit north of Mexico City. This was the amount of hail coming down for about 35 minutes. That is not a hockey rink. This is a football field. So intense, so deep that the cleanup crews took hours and hours to remove the ice before they could begin play again. This type of ice formation and ice nuclei this far south dropping this much hail is completely unusual. And you can start to expect snows in Florida every year, hails in different places, deep snowfalls across deserts and areas, ice halos, sunspots behaving strangely, decreases in solar activity, all based on repeating cycles of time. The solar minimums come in a pretty regular pattern. We're getting ready to repeat another one, although my firm belief is this one is going to be incredibly deep taking us back to 400 year plus cold temperatures, which coincides with many ancient beliefs and many Native American Indian legends and stories about purification through glacial movements, ices and snows coming back. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. That ice halo is literally once in a lifetime 